Hey, you crashed into my ship. Well, could you give me a lift or something? I mean, come on, don't be mean. Well, I guess so, but you have to tell me a little bit about yourself so that I know you're not a spy. Fine, now help me and my crew onto the deck. There, now tell me a little bit about why you're here. Okay, well, me and my crew were sailing to go to the Fountain of Youth in the new land that I claimed and named La Florida. Any advice? I'm surprised we aren't there yet. Wait, are you that famous explorer Ponce de Leon? Yeah, pretty much. But who are you? I'm the world famous explorer. Marco. Marco Polo. Whoa, I heard about you back in Spain. They say you're really good at finding new land. Whoa, you're traveling from Spain to Florida? That's halfway across the world. Well, do you know any shorter ways? Seriously, why didn't you just say that way? Well, I do know one shorter way. But, the, but you would need a ship. And you just crashed that. You have like three ships. Give me one, please. If you don't, you're being very rude. So, will you give me one? I'm only the best explorer in the world. No way. My ships are mine, and I need them all to get back to Spain, to Venice, with all the riches and treasures that Cotton gave me. You're the rudest person I've ever met. Why don't we just go find some food? Okay. Fine with me. But wait, wait, wait. But can you at least help me repair my ship? Okay, I guess so. Okay, I'll help with the science of it all. I did grow up learning math, reading, and science. What great parents I had. What about your parents? Did they teach you anything? Well, my mother died when I was very young, and my father and uncle were away in China when I was born. So I was raised with my aunt learning how to read, write, oh, and how to do math. But that's none of your business. Let's just find the food. Okay. Is this a poisonous or edible berry? <gasps> I found this berry when I was running the town in La Florida. By the way, it's poisonous. See? Bad. Mm. Mm. Oh, I found tomatoes. Some are fresh. Start a fire now. The animals are going to come looking for the food soon. Oh, no. No way. I am not eating tomatoes. When I was traveling with a wedding party to escape Khan, there was this huge tomato virus going around Asia, and it still is. Well, look who's Mr. Smart Guy all of a sudden. You know, I was governor once, and I can be much smarter. Mm-hmm. Let's just find something else. Um. Oh, I found carrots and berries and corn. Oh, my gosh. Look, um, her. maybe I should cook them. Yeah. Do we need to be cooked? Yeah, just cook it. Okay. Men, dinner! Shut up, you're with the animals or Indians around us. Speaking of which, get the crews armed and ready. Okay, just another battle that I will win. I've won so many that people won't remember me forever. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm almost sure I have one more battle than you. What makes you think you're more victorious than me? Uh, isn't it obvious? I've been to many more places with Indians and all those things. Name one thing you did that was better than what I did. Okay, well, uh, I sailed with Christopher Columbus on his second voyage. Hi. Well, I brought spaghetti to the world outside China. Oh, that totally tops in with Christopher Columbus. Face it, I'm better than you by a long shot. No way, I'm going to be remembered more. Mm, no, me. Okay, let's just say we're equally important. Fine. Okay, I'm going to stay for a bit on the other land. But good luck with that spaghetti of yours. Okay, bye Mr. Smarty Pants. I'll help bye. you with your ship later. Alright, bye.